Hey, Psych2Goers, what would you say about your intelligence? As you'll soon learn, intelligence is not always about being able to memorize huge books of definitions, solving quantum physics equations, or multiplying big numbers in your head. Being smart can mean a lot of things. And even if you don't think so, you're probably much smarter than you think. If you're interested to learn more, keep watching. Number one, you're highly creative. Do you feel like you have an artistic soul? Maybe you like to paint, play an instrument, dance? No matter your preferred art form, if you're creative, you're most likely intelligent too. For a long time, psychologists have considered creativity to be a form of intelligence. And even though research has shown that intelligent people aren't necessarily creative, the opposite is usually true. The ones who are creative are also intelligent. This is because creativity is also about thinking outside the box, finding new solutions for problems, having a different perspective. And these are all traits that intelligent people have. Number two, your room is a bit messy. Have you ever heard of the term creative mess? As it turns out, that's actually backed by research. Working in a cluttered and messy room can actually spark creativity for some people. And since we know creativity goes hand in hand with intelligence, you could say that your creative mess actually shows off how clever you are. So if someone complains about the state of your room, tell them you're just sparking your creativity and innovation. Number three, you have smart friends. People say like attracts like. And when it comes to intelligence, this might be true. When we choose our friends or partners, we usually tend to hang out with those who we have something in common with. Of course, this doesn't mean that we want them to be 100% the same as we are, but we need some common ground to have something to talk about. Think about the people you hang out with. Do you think they're smart and talented? If the answer is yes, you're probably just as smart as them. Think about it. If they were above your level, you would probably feel bored in their company. Maybe you wouldn't understand them or you wouldn't know how to even start a meaningful conversation with them. But because you're all such a smart group, you're able to connect on a deeper level. Number four, you're empathetic. Do you care about other people deeply? Do you always try to see their perspective? And can you feel their pain if someone close to you is hurting? If you think that description suits you, you probably have high empathy and emotional intelligence, commonly known as EQ. Emotional intelligence is an important aspect of intelligence. It's the ability to understand emotions and express them in ways that are healthy and productive. Being empathetic, a key component of emotional intelligence, means that you can see things from someone else's point of view. It means that you can see if someone is struggling, you have no problem reading their subtle body language cues. It means you're deeply accepting of everyone around you and you have no problem understanding their experiences. Number five, you want to know everything. You've heard of IQ, intelligence quotient, but have you heard of CQ? Curiosity quotient represents your desire and motivation to learn new things. And it's been shown that the more curious you are, the more intelligent you probably are. But why is that? It could be that curious people feed their curiosity by investing a lot of time and effort researching new things and learning as much as they can. Also, they are more likely to come up with original ideas, which helps them solve problems more effectively. So if you love to learn new things about the world around you, you're probably much smarter than you think. And number six, you don't think you're very smart. You know that one person who just loves to boast and tell everyone how smart they are? And at the same time, there's this other person who is clearly clever, but has a low opinion about their intelligence. This is known as the Dunning-Kruger effect, a cognitive bias that makes people overestimate or underestimate their intelligence. It has been shown by research that people who are more intellectually gifted hold more realistic and grounded views of themselves. They know how much there is to learn and they recognize intelligence in other people. Because they know this, they spend their time seeking knowledge this makes them feel like they're not really smart, but it's exactly what makes them smart in the first place. So did you relate to any of the things we mentioned here? It's always so easy to think the worst about ourselves or to simply disregard all the nice things others tell us, but there's really no reason for you to think you're not smart. Intelligence is a very, very wide concept. So wide that even today, psychologists are still researching it and finding out new things about it every day. The one thing they do agree on is that you can be intelligent in many different ways. You don't have to be Einstein to be intelligent. And if you allow yourself to see that, you'll be able to fulfill your potential even further. If you found this video helpful, like and share it with friends that might find insight in this too. 
Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the sources used are added in the description box below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.